G'day, Jim Harnwell here from Fishing World magazine. I just wanted to run you through our new estuary project boat. This is a CJ465 Discovery Sports. It's a side console sport fishing rig uh, designed for a calm water uh, impoundment estuary type fishing. Fantastic little boat. Uh, we've been running it now, we've got about 100 hours on the clock and uh, everything seems to be going really well with it. This boat's powered by the new Yamaha 74 stroke. This is a revolutionary uh, unit. It's a very uh, compact, lightweight four stroke. It delivers 70 horsepower and uh, gets this boat running at about 30 knots flat out, which is pretty impressive for uh, what is essentially quite a small engine. Up the front, I've got a Minn Kota Riptide 55 pound thrust uh, electric engine. Uh, it's operated by um, one of these little remote control units. Makes it very easy and effective to operate anywhere in the boat. Uh, in this sort of sport fishing uh, rig, an electric's pretty much mandatory and the Minn Kota really offers up a lot of opportunities for active lure casting and fly fishing. You see this boat here's a side console model. Uh, being a side console opens up a lot of room here on the deck and you've got quite a big casting deck up the front. Up the front there you've got an anchor locker which has got enough room for uh, a moderate sized anchor and, and plenty of rope. There's also a storage hat. I've got my uh, deep cycle battery for the electric in there as well and there's also room for life jackets, drinks, that sort of stuff. Down the back here we've got two more uh, storage containers and this little rear casting deck and we've also got a plumb live bait tank. The battery for the uh, engine sits under here nice and protected and uh, the steering and seating position is, is uh, really nice for when you're driving along. I've got this uh, Humminbird 898 uh, side imaging uh, sonar system set up here. This is amazing technology. Uh, it shoots out to the side and also down so you get a view of what's out to the side of you. I've also already seen uh, when I've been using it some uh, quite amazing formations in regards to snags and structure and you can pinpoint where fish are and, and then go and chase them. Uh, it's got a GPS in this, this unit as well but nicely set up console. Um, switch panel here for your lights and bilge pumps and live bait pumps and plenty of storage under here for uh, odds and ends, wallets, uh, soft plastics and so forth. Very stable package, uh, I've been really impressed with its lateral stability, uh, fishing two or three up, uh, there's no problems even when it's a bit windy and a bit choppy, the boat's really stable. It performs really nicely with the Yami 70 on the back, um, the engine's actually running now, you probably can't even hear it, sometimes uh, I forget it's on and and turn the key and uh, she's actually still running, which is pretty funny. Comes with two of these uh, quite comfortable pedestal seats. You can move these seats around. There's a spigot up the front, another one here. The boat sits on a pro alloy trailer. It's an aluminium trailer made by the guys who do the Boab hire boats. Uh, being aluminium means there's virtually no maintenance. It doesn't rust like a normal steel trailer would, would do. Uh, the other great advantage of an aluminium trailer is that it's a lot lighter than your standard gal trailers. That means that this total boat package comes in under the 750 kilo brake limit. So that means I don't have to worry about putting trailer brakes under the trailer. And that just saves me a lot of maintenance hassles and just makes everything a lot easier. Uh, aluminium trailers, there's more and more of them these days. And the pro alloy uh, one that I've got under this boat, fantastic piece of work. So all up, I'm really, really happy with this boat. It's opened up a heap of fishing opportunities for me. Previously, I uh, only really had the big boat and it's been really hard to get in and do some estuary fishing. But now I'm finding uh, a whole new world of fishing opportunities. So hopefully one day I'll catch you out on the water. And if you see me out there, come and say good day.